Hello friends, my name is Manoj Bishwas. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this channel, I do some small activities, some experiments and some concepts in science and maths. My today's concept is inertia. First one is called inertia of rest. It tells you when an object is in rest, it will try to maintain its condition of rest. So today we are going to do two small activities. In the first activity, we have taken a glass and a cardboard and a coin on it. I will flick the cardboard and you will see the coin is falling inside the glass. It tells that the coin is trying to maintain its inertia of rest. In the second activity, we will take a bottle filled with water and we will keep the bottle inverted on a pile of coins, caramel coins and we will flick the coin one by one. And you will see that the bottle is settling down, down and down, but it will not fall. It shows that the bottle is maintaining its inertia of rest. Then we will also talk about the inertia of motion. What is inertia of motion? That if, you, if an object is in motion, then it will try to maintain its condition of motion. So to perform this, I have taken two eggs. One is unboiled another egg is boiled so I will spin both of them and then I will put my hands on both of them when they are spinning and then I will take out my hands from them you will notice that the boiled egg will come to rest very quickly but the unboiled egg will continue to rotate, continue to rotate for a longer period of time because the liquids maintain their inertia for a little bit longer than solid and the reason behind is the liquids have less density and second the intermolecular force that is existing in the liquid molecule is very weak covalent force so these are the two reasons why the liquids will maintain the inertia for a longer period of time whereas the solid which is the boiled egg will not be able to maintain the inertia for a long period of time so let us go and check all these things out okay friends this is the first activity, it's a cardboard coin, cardboard glass, I will apply a force on the cardboard, it will fly off, but the coin due to its inertia of rest will try to maintain its condition of rest and it will fall inside the glass like this. Let's do once again, the cardboard will fly off because I am applying a force on the cardboard, but the coin due to its inertia of rest will try to maintain its inertia and it will fall inside the glass. Ok friends, this is the second activity and in this second activity we are trying to demonstrate the same inertia of rest. So I have kept this bottle filled with water on some carambord coins. One by one I will flick and you will notice that the bottle remains in its rest due to its inertia. So let's do it. Two, three, four, and last one, five, that's it. This is inertia of rest. Okay friends, this is the third activity and in this activity I am going to demonstrate you the inertia of motion. So on my left hand I have got an unboiled egg. That means the material inside is liquid and on the right hand I have got a boiled egg that means the material inside is solid. Now I will spin both of them one by one I will do I will spin both of them and then I will try to stop them by using my hand and when I withdraw my hand you will notice that the boiled egg will stop then and there only. That means it will not continue with the inertia of motion. But if you look at the unboiled egg if I, when I withdraw my hand after rotating it, it will still continue with the inertia of motion for some time. It shows that liquids maintain their inertia of rotational motion for a longer period of time than a solid does. So let us observe. This is the boiled egg which is solid. So let me spin it and then stop. It stops there only. It does not rotate further. So let's do it again. I spin it. This is the boiled egg. I spin it. 
and then I try to stop it, it stops there only. You can do this activity at home also, no trick, it's purely science. And now this is the unboiled egg, that means the material inside is liquid. So liquid will try to maintain the inertia of motion for a longer period of time. So when I will spin it and try to stop it, then you will notice that it will continue to spin little bit longer as compared to the solid. So let's do it. See, it's still spinning. I do it again, unboiled egg. First I will spin it, then I will try to stop it and then you can see it's still continuing with the rotation. At the same time, I do the same with the boiled egg, stop it, it stops there only. This is still spinning. What does it mean? It means that the liquids maintain their inertia of motion, rotational inertia for a longer period of time than the solids. Now you may be wondering that there is a trick. Let me show you by breaking the eggs. So when I break the unboiled egg, you can see it's liquid. So there is no trick, it's pure science. And when I open this boiled one, which I will eat after some time, then you can see it's a solid. So that is the difference between solid inertia and liquid inertia. Liquid maintain the inertia for a longer period of time. Solids lose the inertia very soon. Thank you and see you in my next video for an another interesting one. Bye bye.